And so when you look at God and you look at Christianity, this is a God that works, that spans time and land. This isn't just 2021 America God or Orange County God, California God. This is a God that is working way back here in 1500 BC to work in this family's life, but he doesn't change. And so we want to we want to see how this God is going to work in our life, and we see that as we watch him working here in Jacob's life. And he has things that he wants to root out of Jacob. He has certain things that of characteristics, character traits that he doesn't like. But he loves Jacob. He says that more than one time. And so he loves you and he loves me. But there are things that he wants to work in our lives. And the way God does that is he does it from the inside out. And we try to put our best foot forward religiously. We try to look from the outside what's not really taking place or transpiring on the inside. And sometimes we pull the wool over people's eyes. And it's a religious, hypocritical game. Because on the inside, we're dying. Or it comes to catch up with us. And so, doing this work from the inside out, so that He can do a work in us and then through us, but He does a work in spite of us, not because of us. And that's a very important differentiation. He's doing a work in us, so that He would do a work through us, the work that he does is in spite of us, not because of us. The reason that is, is because God is good and he wants us to walk in humility and point to him for the good that he's able to do through us in our lives. He doesn't want to share his glory with us. He deserves the credit. He deserves the honor. He deserves the glory. So in that, we got to point people to God. And if there's anything good that they're able to see in our lives, then we say to God be the glory. Great things He has done. 